Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. I'm glad you could attend. Movie Maniacs, today I got one for you called Blood Sucker Jones. Yes, Blood Sucker Jones. Tell us the story of David, who has a girlfriend, and they're in love, and she could almost be perfect, except for one little quirk. She's a vampire. She's got vampire buddies who want to see David dead, so David enlists the help of a local vampire hunter named Tony, who's not really good at his job, and after a few unsuccessful attempts, these two cross paths with legendary badass vampire ass-kicker Bloodsucker Jones, who, along with his very beautiful and distracting sidekick Vanessa, help the boys take out the preppy vampires who want to kill uh, David. <laughs> this film is wild crazy and just fun. I had a lot of fun with this film. More fun than I expected to. Now it's done in the 80s, 70s, a style of uh, kind of black exploitation film. You know, you can tell by the character with he's got the afro and the, the suit. And But I liked how uh, Preston Gant, who plays the title role, Bloodsucker Jones, made this character his own. He didn't just make it a combination of other elements that we loved about the characters in those early, uh, those late 70s, early 80s films. He really makes this character his own, and it helps with the dialogue he has. He's a very quotable character, and in fact, every other line he was saying really... <laughs> just made me bust out laughing, okay? Uh, then you got Justin Armeo, who not only wrote and directed this, but stars as David, the guy with the vampire girlfriend. And I like the chemistry he had with Travis Woods, who plays Tony, the would-be vampire. I loved their chemistry and the banter that they had back and forth. This definitely had the feel, not only visually, of the old-school 80s, uh, 70s, 80s films, but it also had that uh, direction and written in that style where that comedy comes kind of at you. You know, there's just, it just keeps going and some of it is fantastic and some of it not so much. There's some hills and valleys. I mean, there's parts in this film where I was like, okay, and then suddenly something, they would pull out this out of nowhere uh, line or this scene or something would happen that just made me bust out laughing. And that's what I loved about this film. You weren't quite sure where the jokes were going to come. Now, it does have vampires in it and it has some horror elements to it. Not really scary elements, but horror elements, including gore. There's some great practical effects in here. Over-the-top practical effects, as you would expect from a comedy horror, but they're still in here and Kudos for all the practical gore effects in here. This script was interesting. You never quite knew what to expect. And the ending, I will say, was a was rather unpredictable. Uh, I thought it was going to go one way and it didn't. Uh, a lot of comedic moments in here. A lot of uh, almost like short scenes as well, the way it's put together. And yes, there's a character in here named Carlos who you got to keep an eye out for. Everybody does great in this. Uh, you know, you've got Maria uh, Canapino who plays Vanessa, and she was she was great in the role she was in. She was kind of sidekick and just kind of there, but she when she had to, she actually kicked some ass. And then uh, Jessica Derricks as Christine, the girlfriend for David, she did well too. And, and I love the makeup effects of the vampires, how they they did very subtle but effective uh, effects and makeup work for the vampires. And I really liked that as well. There's a lot of things I really enjoyed about this film. As I said, some of the comedy is in valleys, but some of it, you get hills as well. So, uh, But it definitely enough coming at you to where it keeps you entertained. And by the end of the film, you will be feeling a lot better from all the laughs you got from Bloodsucker Jones. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, folks, keep the tickets tough.